Well, hello, Dirtfish Rally friends. It's lunchtime on the Friday here at Safari Rally Kenya. We have had three stages this morning. The rally kicked off yesterday evening with a blast around the 4.8 kilometer super special in downtown Nairobi. But the real action got underway this morning. Three stages, round about 62, 63 kilometers in total. Friday morning here has always been dramatic. Did we see drama out there? Well, we did, and we'll come to that. But let's talk first up about really who has excelled out there this morning. It was that man, Cali Rovenpera. He has won here before. We know his credentials. We know how good he is. We know how committed he is. But question marks, six months since he won an event. He had an awful time in Sweden six weeks ago, but he has been magnificent in the stages this morning. He has won all three stages out there. It's been rough, it's required a strategy, and Robin Perra has found the perfect strategy. His lead, just over 15 seconds from Essa Pekka Lappi. Lappi had a magnificent time in Sweden, and he's brought that momentum to this event. He's looked good out there. To be honest with you, the only driver, though, to go out with five tires this morning, just the one spare, a gamble from Lappi that has very much paid off. He looked quite comfortable, I'd have to say, out in the stages. Third, after this morning's loop of stages, it's Oit Tanak. Tanak at the end of the opener, reporting issues with, well, reporting, it was difficult to work out exactly what he was reporting. What we did hear from the team was there were no issues with the car, just struggling maybe a little bit to find the perfect feeling, the perfect balance and setup in his car. But he's had a strong morning. 1.3 seconds behind Esapeka Lapi in third place. It's obviously Robin Perra who leads two high Hyundais chasing him down. Relatively close for our top three. We then drop down 24 seconds to the man in fourth, Takamoto Katsuta. Really loves this rally. We know that. Two podiums from three appearances here. Really good steady start from Takamoto. But my goodness, uh, he at times was very, very committed out there. But his car looks good. He looks good. The man who we might suggest has been uh, really struggling out there this morning is Elvin Evans. Had a good shakedown, felt comfortable with the car. Car felt completely different out there this morning. Really struggling to find any confidence and feeling in the car. The long stage, the 31 kilometers of Kidong, blindingly fast and Elvin struggling with the feeling in that car. He will be hoping for a far, far better afternoon. Now, we talked about drama. Who was the one who gave us that drama? It was Thierry Neuville. And it was once again that geothermal stage early on in the stage, picked up a puncture, managed to well, get through the stage almost to the end before that tire gave up completely. We caught up with him just past the end of the stage. And Thierry, where did that happen? 3K into the stage, puncture. Oh. And it just exploded 150 meters before the finish. Oi, oi, oi. It just exploded there. So you just about made it through then? Oh, ah, yeah, better. but now I will not see anything. I'm taking the stones in my head. Oh. It was a bit of work to be done there, a bit of tidying up to do, no damage to the suspension. You went into that stage feeling dust in the car. There were masks, there were snorkels, there was all sorts of devices being improvised to clear dust off the windscreen. It was a heck of an effort from Neuville. He is not out of it. He is now oh, about 40 plus seconds off the lead. He'll be very much targeting a podium. And what we know, folks, is that anything can happen here. What about our two M Sport cars? Well, safe mornings from both Gregoire Monster and Adrian Formo. Safe, no problems with the car. They've kept it nice and neat and tidy. Sitting in seventh and eighth place, poised to attack should the opportunity present itself. In terms of WRC2, we were looking forward to that battle between Gus Greensmith and Oliver Solberg. It's been a shocking morning for Solberg out there. Three punctures. Wow. It's flat out for Solberg for the rest of the event, that's for sure. Let's see what he can do. Gus Greensmith leads by two minutes and 20 seconds, but he's had his own issues, not feeling too well. Let's hope that he is feeling better this afternoon. If you have missed any of the action this morning, bing, there's the button. Dirtfish Live Center. Give it a press, it'll take you through. Go back, scroll back through all of this morning's action. Plenty of pictures there, the odd little video, some comments on what's gone on. And don't forget, we are live. It is Dirtfish Live Center, so make sure you join us there this afternoon to see whether or not, number one, the rains come, number two, whether we see much more drama. I'm sure we will.